Hello, and welcome back to some more washing machine gameplay. This time we're taking a look at a game called Banished. It's a game that came out a while ago, and uh, it's kind of a chill experience. You just build your town, um, grow your apples, people die, you know, of old age in the stone mines. It's kind of a very relaxing and, you know, chill atmosphere until a tornado shows up and takes so just sort of ravages through your entire town and you're left with trying to, you know, save as many people as you can. So, let's let's play some Banished and see. I like this name, Jenkinta. Let's randomize some seeds of Jenkinta. I think I'm gonna keep it kind of default for now because I uh, it's been a while since I played and I might need to remember the rules but uh, I don't know we're gonna see how it goes so as usual with any kind of you know strategy sort of survival uh, I don't know how to call it camp building game you have your stockpile you have a big barn Kind of just holds more tools and stuff. But people are kind of just, you know, hanging out right now. They don't really have anything to do. So why don't we just uh, kind of build some houses for them to live in? It's like, should be pretty good, right? Yeah, I think we're going to stick with wooden houses. If I could just figure out how to rotate that stuff, uh, that would be pretty great. Great. But none of the keys seem to be doing anything, so... All the houses are going to be looking that way. This is going to be our kind of sunrise mansion. Let's build three houses, see how many of them move in. And build a dirt road between them all. Just to give people to do something, like at the very beginning. Um, well, I'll just connect this as well. So... Uh, I don't remember if I have to assign them to be builders, but maybe they're gonna do that on their own. There should be more windows though, like uh, some more uh, like status updates. We got some general statistics about Jenkinta, the kind of population you know we have. Yeah, we there we go. We have an uh, we have a signing of jobs to citizens. So let's. Get three builders, just so they could start, you know, building those houses. Now, for uh, you know, resources, we could get. Um, I gotta remember how to play this, but just kind of for a moment, gotta enjoy how relaxing these kind of, even if it's kind of raining in this game, but just sort of, there's no enemies, there's no, you know, big. There is no big kind of other AI enemy trying to kill you. It's just sort of trying to survive in this wilderness. Kind of like uh, maybe uh, the first settlers in America. I don't know. But we're banished from our land, so we can't go back. In the meanwhile, let's see if we can uh, harvest some of these trees. Just uh, again to give people something to do. Can we pin this? I would like to keep this sort of around for long. Maybe I—I I, I don't know. Maybe I turned it off on my own. On my own. Let's. Oh, these are woodcutters that will go to a woodcutting spot, but you know, they're all just laborers now. Maybe you can just go do that anyway. Like you don't have to be specific woodcutters to do that. You woodcutters go to a special house. I collect some stone as well. We're gonna need that. That's pretty good. As for resource gathering, let's grab. What do we got? A herbalist provides simple health and healing for citizens. What about food? We get a gatherer's hut. Yes, we've got a gatherer's hut. Really? All right. All right. Damn it. Okay, I'm trying to. What did I just do? Oh, it's uh, one or two. Okay, but 
This is the ah, there we go. We can rotate buildings. Great. This is perfect. So let's put this somewhere deeper in the forest. So he's got, you know, stuff to kind of gather. And uh, let's make a road. It goes. I said, let's make a road. It goes from his hut to the village. And maybe we could speed up time and see if we can have these people, you know, work. Work their ass off. I don't pay you to just lounge around. Stimulation speed, there we go. Alright, fellas. Boys and girls. This is citizen citizen named Harville. Let's see what you're doing. Make sure you're not you're not lounging around. Harville. You're going to the forest. Oh, you're probably gonna go chop down some of those trees to make space for the foragers. Huh? That's very nice of you. Thank you. You cut down one tree and you're walking all the way back? Oh, no. No. Harville's a good boy. He's carrying back some resources. He's he's alright. Alright, I think we've, sh we've made sure Harville's not lounging out. Just not doing anything. In the meanwhile... We're going to be having a gatherer once people finish that. We have a couple of houses. People are having a good time. I think everybody's sort of chilling for now. Oh, and there's animals to kill. Good. We make a fishing dock. I think this part needs to be in the water, yes. All right, so this is going to be our fishing port. I think it should be look look very nice. Add road. I'll just I guess I'll just wait till they Oh we have uh we have We have the gatherer's hut. Stop the time. We can put uh who wants to be a gatherer? Oh it can house four Select and cycle through the cities. Oh yeah, okay. So who's gonna be the gatherer? Uh Ria Therin. She's 12. And she's been educated. And she's got a tool of iron. You're gonna be a 12 year old gatherer. Ria Therin. Uh, congratulations. And Abigaili. Well, I guess we have no child labor laws out here. Everybody gotta pull their weight, so. Off to work, ladies. Y'all better uh, bring back, you know food or everybody else is just gonna expect that from you right now all right so we got a couple of people um gathering but i would like to make a hunting cabin so some dude could you know take care of those deer that have been menacing this landscape i think the hunting cabin could go here would be a pretty good place among the rocks you know, I don't know why the hunter would like rocks, but I think we're gonna find a person who does. Let's put a dirt road here, a dirt road here, and a dirt road here. All right. Okay, so now people should kind of these ladies should. Uh, wait, where are they? Oh, there you are. Abigail Lee's working. What are you doing? Wait, oh, though, this is Abigaili the Builder, not Abigaili the Gatherer. Are they in there somewhere? I suppose they are. Wait, no. What am I doing? I thought I could cycle through the workers again through here, but eh, whatever. Doesn't have to be. We're gonna have some food coming in real soon. People are gonna have a good time. Wait. Citizens without homes. So all of you don't have a home. Why don't you just move in here? What, what's the problem? What? I don't get it. I, I guess, but just... I'm gonna build more houses, but I don't like the way you guys are, you know... I, I don't pay you to live in luxury. Everybody gotta live how they can. Alright? Y'all gonna live in barracks. 
If I'm, if I'm, if, if it's up to me. All right, they finished building the dock. All right, let's see if we can uh, get some people working here. So I think two should be enough for now. Should still keep some laborers, and hopefully, you know, people are gonna start humping each other soon. Ah, oh, see, uh, Abigail is uh, perfectly, perfectly happy living with Gordell, the builder. We have Hosterlin and Rytherin in the other house, who's recently become a fisherman because of his own volition, obviously. And we have a bunch of children in there. All right. Okay, so people are working away at the hunting cabin. That's good. It's moving along. And we've got a problem. The reserve of logs is low. Well, we should fix that, I guess. We should fix that indeed. We should harvest the trees over here. And harvest them over here. We don't need any of that. We're going to be needing some orchard space, so I guess we're going to sort of move in here. There's a lot of open space in here. Should be pretty good. And yeah, sh the log situation should be fixed really soon. And we can have a couple of hunters now as well. So, everybody should kind of have a, a profession now. Maybe just we'll keep a couple of... We're going to keep one labor. This is going to be... El oh boy. Okay, so this is our one laborer who is a child at the age of one year old. He's a boy. Ellen's a one year old laborer. I, I've got nothing to say to these people. I'm not the one who makes up their society. I'm just assigning jobs. These people... I guess it's kind of rough. I don't know. You you got to do what you got to do. If you got to work, you got to work. I suppose... How? So, as soon as this house was built, everybody started moving in here. But nobody's moving in here. Why is that? There's so much space in here. And there's berries and fish. I thought we, you guys would just enjoy living in there. What's going on? Uh, I, s I don't know. They were cold, but now they're okay. Uh, reserve of food is low. Really? We're running out of potatoes already? Uh, shit, okay. Uh, well... Everybody's working on things. The builders are building, and once the once those houses are finished, we're actually just gonna kind of continue making food. I don't know. Like fish is good. Meat's gonna be coming back on the menu, and uh, we should get some berries as well. So I don't know. Y'all, y'all are just complaining about nothing. Y'all just being picky. Why are you guys cold? What's going on here? Why is this house cold when all, all the other ones are not? You tell me. Or the other ones have firewood. They do have firewood. And this one doesn't have firewood. That's why they're cold. They're living... They're living inside of the house with no heating... So let's, uh, I guess fix that. Holy shit. Um, we don't want people freezing to death. That's not something I can allow, especially in a house with a four-year-old. Harvel and Addis, you should be ashamed. You're leaving a four-year-old child in a cold house. Fuck, everybody's gonna go super cold real fast. I didn't, I didn't realize it's, you know, it's... Oh, it's late summer, but people are still kind of cold. We got s not a lot of stored food. Everybody's like... Hmm. We're gonna have some trouble. We don't have a lot of... Resources around, but uh, we should... We should kind of work on that. So, let's cut some of this stone. Collect stone. 
collect stone. And these trees are already being harvested. Alright. Collect wood. So, we still have that. Oh, the. Wait. The one. Weren't you a boy named Ellen or something? How are you now the only laborer? And now you're a girl called Lossom. In Kanda. What's going on? Yeah, I guess they're just cycling through with random children because they're just mouths I gotta feed. But, uh. Alright, hopefully somebody's gonna get on top of this. Yeah, we're getting. getting some of the stone back. Yeah, are not. These people are gonna get sick, aren't they? We're gonna have a tough time. Hopefully, we can survive the first. Where are the builders? Maybe I don't need three of them. Maybe just one builder for now. He can build that thing. And we will have more laborers. And, you know, just doing the laborers. Carrying shit. Yeah, Australian. What are you doing? You're carrying the fish? You're No, you're taking some of the fish and you're carrying it? Where are you taking it? Oh, wait. What are you doing? Are you... Oh, you've got the stone, the logs, and the fish inside your pockets. And now you're going to work. You're just gonna go fill more of your pockets with more logs? Um, okay. I, I guess? Why don't you just go carry some of those logs back to the stockpile, man? You're carrying a huge load of... Man, I don't know. This guy's too legit to quit. That's what I'm thinking. So, is anybody working here? Like, are you guys... Let me let me see uh, how the hunters are doing. And then go here, get to the works, work assignments. And where are my hunters? Where are my hunters at? Okay, Abigail Lee. How is Abigail doing everything in this city? Are you carrying... What are you doing? You're just walking around. You're just looking... Oh, are you gonna go hunt? Are you gonna go kill those animals? Please do. Come on. What are you doing? Abigail -y. Are you a hunter who doesn't have, like, a way to shoot the animals? Or what's going on here? Are you pretending to work? Also, this music is very... Very ominous. It's making me think I'm not going to be able to survive the late summer into autumn. I haven't even been growing any foodstuffs. I'm going to have to try to survive on fish and hunting. If I mean, as long as those hunters actually kill the deer. Like, what the hell? Just shoot them. I don't know. Are we gathering any berries? Oh, we got venison, so... I mean, they're doing their job, I guess. That's fine. As long as that's going on. And we should get the... Woodcutter's Hut. In a moment. So. Yeah, just stock up some fuel, man. I don't know. People are growing cold, and they're not... Oh, there's a zero-year-old child has just been born into this cold, cold household. This cold, cold household. Okay, so f everybody... Oh, shit! Oh, my God. It's suddenly... Suddenly, it's winter. Oh, my God. I'm not prepared. I am not prepared at all. Please tell me you can just make firewood for everybody, please. For the love of God. Please tell me you can get... Oh, yes. We've got some firewood in those rooms. Do we? Yeah, we got some firewood. All right. So you just keep working away. You keep slaving away at the, those logs. And we are going to need some more. What is this? Berries? What is this? Berries? I ain't got no time for berries. 
We need to get some more wood if we're gonna survive through this cold. And it's not even winter yet. It's gonna be tough. Let's get some of these. I don't want to deforest this area too much because, I mean, we're, you know, we're using the forests to sustain ourselves. I wonder if the berries are still coming in, even if it's, like, all snowed in. But we're not doing too bad, okay. Like, we're, we're gathering some fish. Maybe I should build another fishery. Is there... Oh, we don't have any... We don't have any, uh, animals. So, uh, I'm just gonna build another fishing dock. Maybe a bit, a tiny bit further away. So they don't kind of fish on each other's lawns. Yeah, that should be, should be alright. And, damn, bam, alright. So, we should be able to build that. I could actually, wait, I mean... First of all, I could just add more fishermen to the existing spot before everything freezes over. Please tell me it doesn't freeze over. Please tell me you can get some fish. Alright, alright, we're good. We're okay. Uh, do we have warm clothes? That's something I am not prepared with. I don't know if I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Uh, maybe if they're, if they're going to start complaining that they're getting sick and, you know, cold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything. Do we have, like... We have leathers, though. We have some iron tools still. That's, that's good. Uh, some roots, onions, mushroom. Alright, so we're, we're doing okay on food for now. And the firewood's okay. What is it now? Oh, right. Reserves of firewood is low. Well, then go make some. God damn it. Mr. Wern. Please. Please make some firewood for people because they are going to need it. All right. So how are we doing on uh, logs? That's pretty good. All right, I think, I think for now, this is going to be where I uh, call it a day and call it a season, if you will. Thanks for watching and, uh, you know, if you like this type of content, please let me know if you want to see more Banished gameplay. Goodbye! <laughs>